OpenKM allows the use of metadata tables to be used as group properties or metadata in documents. Here we'll see the creation of two tables, the client's table and the supplier's table. The aforementioned tables will have a primary key for the clients and the suppliers and also their individual value. The tables are being created in the metadata structure that supports OpenKM. Once those tables are created, if we go to metadata, we can see that now we can manage two different types of tables, the client's one and the supplier's one. We are now going to load those tables in metadata. First loading the tables for clients and then loading for the suppliers. In both cases, we can see how we have primary key assigned to each entry, which corresponds to the identity of the client or of the supplier. Once the metadata is uploaded, we'll be able to consult the values of the registers in the metadata table we have just uploaded. For example, here we have the client's table in an intern structure managed by OpenKM's metadata, and we can see the values in the supplier's table. Following that, we are going to define a metadata structure that uses the value from the database we just created. Here we have the property group DND with the client and supplier's properties, and here we see the property group XML with some fields that refer to the clients and the suppliers. And we can observe that it is consulting the database, which is where the data will be stored. We can see that for the clients and also for the suppliers. And then we register the metadata and as we can see once registered appears metadata relating to the clients and metadata relating to the suppliers with a consultation to the respective databases. We upload a document and immediately we will assign it metadata. We have then a pop-up window in which we can write in a filter search field. We select the client, we select the supplier. Those fields can be used in the search section. For example, we'll now search for a supplier. Remembering that the clients and suppliers tables have a primary key and a description field. In this case, a name field. We can change the descriptive field because internally the metadata is keeping that primary key.
here we can see a search example and we are going to make a change to the pronoun field. We see that we change the value in the database and then go to the general view of the document. Here we see that we've changed the value in the database. And then we go to the general view of the document, selecting the entry that we changed. And we are going to do another change to see the value we get from the changed user's interface because the metadata will be referring to the unique idea corresponding to the unique idea that is assigned and stored in the database. Before, that field was called modify, and now it will be named another modification. We then update, and straight away, after doing the update, we will see how the value that is shown in the user's interface will have changed.